Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are taking a look at the second episode of House of the Dragon entitled The Rogue Prince. Now, I think that kind of leads us in a certain direction. <laughs> right. like, oh, I wonder what one. it's about. But uh, all kidding aside, this first episode was outstanding. Just grabbed you, hooked you right in. And man, I'm, I'm ready to go for the second one. Everything has been really really good with this i'm super excited to see where it goes yeah they didn't waste any time in the first episode getting right into the sort of storylines and content that any fan of game of thrones um had grown accustomed to uh the uh well you know what we're talking about <laughs> so some brutality some partying yep. um you know some uh, some alliances being formed some 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 double crossing um potentially happening so uh, again, uh, all the things that we loved about the original series, Game of Thrones, came back at us uh, right in the face in the first episode. So really excited to get into the second one, as he had said, <laughs> uh, the Rogue Prince. Maybe a little bit of foreshadowing <laughs> with the episode title, but uh, only one way to find out. Yeah, so without further ado, guys, let's go! Oh, oh, he's still alive. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. In all of its history, my seven kingdoms have never entered open war with the free city. Were that to happen, the losses would be incalculable. What reason does the crab feeder have to fear us? Solid the king's point. own brother has been allowed to seize Dragonstone and fortify it with an army of his gold cloak. Damon has squatted there for over half a year without even a protest from the crown. I'll caution you, Lord Corlys. A seat at the king's table does not make you his equal. Oh, we had a bit of a time jump here. Six months. Yeah. I've sent ten boys to Pentos and Volantis to see if we might find common cause. Ships and men are at the ready. The Stepstones will be settled hmm. in time. You have dragon riders, father. Yeah, like you got dragons, just go in there and take them out. <laughs> Done. <laughs> it isn't that simple, Runera. It would be a show of force. At least the princess has a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I only meant that we should at least... Perhaps there's some better use for the princess's talents, Your Grace. Why don't you take the princess to compliment? see about the new King's Guard posting, Lord Commander? A fine idea, Your this knight will protect you as well. You should choose. Oh, I, wa I wonder if it'll be it's Sir gonna be, Kristen. It's going to be our guy oh. from. Uh, it's going to be our guy from the the jousting yeah. tournament. Got to be careful not to fall in love. Mm. Though we've all seen the bodyguard. Oh, yeah. We know what happens with Kevin and Whitney. <laughs> Step forward, Sir Desmond, son of Sir Royce Caron. Sir Desmond has proved strong and steady in both the tourney lists and without. While traveling through the King's Wood on his way to King's Landing, Sir Desmond recently brought a would-be poacher to justice. <laughs> no no just one poacher you have to do better than that thank him for his leal service prince we thank you for your loyal service to the crown sir. nice yellow vest <laughs> <laughs> we all know who it's gonna be right so Raymond Malister son of Lord Lyman Malister of Seagar winner of the melee at Cider Hall it's not him either. <laughs> He's all oh, that's her on her toes. <laughs> he thought it was him. If these knights have combat experience beyond capturing poachers. <laughs> oh, that's I remember point. in the original episode, they said there hasn't been a war in, what, 70 years? Yeah, so they don't have a lot of fighting experience. Sir Kristen Cole. There he There's is. There's the guy. He bested the old leader of the watch. I fought for a year as a foot soldier against the Dornish incursion. Roland Dondarrion knighted me after we raised two of the watchtowers along the burn. Well, going to just pretend like he's not dashingly handsome also. <laughs> We're just going <laughs> to ignore that. No doubt Sir Kristen is a fine warrior, but houses such as Crickle and Malister are important allies of the crown. Mm, political game. My father should be defended by a man who's no real combat, should he not? Of course. God, it's 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 I feel Let us plan Sir I'm not one to then. insult people, but tourney night seems like a pretty good gut. <laughs> ah, whatever, tourney <laughs> night. <laughs> a tourney tur night. <laughs> the Dragon Lords, the highest of the nobility, lived here. The volcanic face, closest to the source of their magic and power. Seems like a bad idea. Hmm. 
Do you believe that Westeros can be another Valyria? Well, it depends whether you speak of the freehold at its height or at its fall. Over a thousand dragons, a navy large enough to span the sea. Thousand? The glory of old Valyria will never be seen again. Oh, they had a thousand dragons. Do you think the Hand sent his daughter in there to get friendly with the king? Yep, I absolutely do. Sketchy Tell power me how move. Is Rhaenyra. Well, these days she doesn't say more than a few words to me. I think she might find it difficult to discuss personal matters. It will take time. It did when I lost my own mother. I wish she would approach me. What if you went to her? There are times when I would rather face the Black Dread himself than my. <laughs> 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 you do not mention our talks to Rhaenyra, do you? I fear that she wouldn't understand them. No, your grace. Ooh, she's going to be put in a, in a tough spot here, I got a feeling. You cannot worry at the matters of lords and kings, Rhaenyra. What if your father were to remarry? Your father loves you. I suppose. Remarry? Try to have he another son? Yeah. Despair. He didn't choose me, he spurned me. Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, I was wondering if that was an emotional uh, decision that he made with her. What do I say? Whatever you wish. Only for you and the gods to know. Have a little bonding moment between mm -hmm. two young women, or yeah. uh, women rather, that are both lost their mothers. Yeah. You know, it's weird no when you think about me is more than this of a girl. history that far back. People generally died a lot younger. Yeah. Language of girls either. I'm curious to see, with all the information these two gather, how powerful they eventually become. I mean, obviously, she's the princess. She's the other girl spending a lot of time with the king. You just wonder how they're going to fit in. At the moment, the crown is perceived as being vulnerable. And a blind incursion in the Stepstones is the only way to demonstrate that we are not. To elude a storm, you can either sail into it or around it. But you must never await its coming. Solid point. Join our families. Wed our daughter, Lena. Unite the two great surviving Valerian houses with the Targaryen dragons and the Valerian fleet bound in blood. You can show the realm that the crown's strongest days are ahead, not behind. It hasn't even been half a year since Emma Park. The realm expects you to take a new wife sooner or later, Grace, to strengthen your line and produce more heirs. You could not ask for a stronger match than Lena. It's always so weird listening to old talks about matches and yeah, good fits and stuff. Sending like, off yeah. their daughters and arranged marriages. That's a good match. Like, oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> Yay. We haven't spoken much. We should be free to speak our minds to one another. You can say whatever you'd like. You are the king. I loved your mother. Very much. So Harold provided a fine field of tawny knights. <laughs> <laughs> But in questioning them, I discovered that Sir Criston was the only man among them with true battle experience. You'll make a fine knight of the King's Guard. And he's handsome. Today at Real handsome. Small Council. Paid no mind. I, I thought I might have had some insight. You're young. But you will learn. <sighs> oh, what is maggots? Oh, they're gonna eat away the rotting flesh like in Gladiator. Uh yeah, I think that's what maggots were used. Oh, Grace. Oh, he's like falling apart. Maggots were removed. Oh, finish. from when he got cut on the throne. Oh, Jesus. He proposed a marriage. The Lady Lena. Such matters must be discussed with a small council. That is what I'm doing presently. So, what is your advice, dear Otto? Uh, marry my daughter. I, uh, dearly loved my own lady wife. The pain of her passing still haunts me. And to be compelled to Replace her for duty's sake. You are the king, but I do not envy you. I don't like this guy. He's 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 <laughs> full of all sorts of yeah. double speak. You know, we're sp he's looking out for his own interest. Guy sent his daughter in by the king. Yeah. Oh, wear your mother's dress. Yeah. You know, we're normally we're supposed to kind of like the hand of the king. You know, for not having power hedge clippers, those bushes <laughs> look pretty nice. That's how I know I'm in dad mode. Wow, <laughs> well, look at. Hey, look at how they got those bushes trimmed. Oh, right. Is that the daughter they want him to marry? What was it like flying the Black Dread? No. I think it is. Only for a short time before he died. With Beleri No. 
I think it is. Do you know where Vega is now? The dragon keepers believe she made home somewhere on the coast of the Narrows. Oh, so there's a dragon that's just kind of out there. Kind of a rogue one, yeah. I imagine even dragons get lonely. Your Grace, it would be a great honor to join our houses as they were in Old Valeria. Come on. Uh, yuck. So that we might strengthen the royal line and the realm. Is that what your father told you to say? Even he doesn't like this. That I Russian. wouldn't have to bed you until I turn 14. Uh, oh, wow. I shouldn't say even he doesn't like it, but the king's clearly not comfortable with that. It bothers you, does it not? <laughs> yeah. You think? Does it bother you, mom? Whether it's to my daughter or to someone else's, your father will remarry sooner than late. His new wife will produce new heirs, and chances are better than not that one of those will be male. And when that boy comes of age and your father has passed, men of the realm will expect him to be heir, not you. Yeah, the way the king's got parts falling off him, I don't know how long he's going to last. His back, you know, his hand. Yeah. You know, you joked in the first episode about, <laughs> hope it's not rusty, <laughs> and next thing you know, an infection. Yeah. They denied you, Princess Rhaenys, the queen who never was. But they bent the knee to me and called me heir to the throne. Bend the knee. Here is the hard truth, which no one else has the heart to tell. Men would sooner put the realm to the torch and see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. What's she got going on with her hair? It's like a long, yeah. like, <laughs> flat. Like, I guess it's a ponytail, but it looks... <laughs> Sorry. The small council is urging me to remarry. Seems the realm wants for a new queen. A good and kind queen will give comfort to your subjects. You feeling what I'm uh, feeling? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Does the small council have a particular lady in mind? Uh, Someone who's not a toddler, perhaps? Lord Corlys Balarian has offered the hand of his daughter, the Lady Lena. A very strong match, your grace. Yeah, she's like 11. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that she is good and kind, and that she will enjoy your company, as I have. Oh, that's kind of her, her nervous tick. I asked the stonemasons to mend it. <sighs> This is a very kind gesture, Alison. Very kind. Uh, it's always the knock. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Good to see you. Come. You know, even this age gap. Yeah, even this is. Like, eh. Yeah. They just went so far off the rails with the other one. You're yeah. like, oh, this is much <laughs> this better. Is, this isn't yeah. too bad. Hold <laughs> the small council to an emergency session. Why? I think it best you hear it directly. Very well. Something with his brother? Or the, the crab uh, king? Crab whatever. king? Or is he going to offer up his own daughter? Yep. Yep. It's like, what's taking so long? Are you even trying? Stole an egg. It is the pleasure of Damon Targaryen to announce that he is to take a second wife in the tradition of old Valyria. She is to assume the title Lady Missaria. Lady Missaria. We believe Damon's that... hall. Easy. <laughs> Damon has seized the Dragonstone, has surrounded himself with an army of ghosts, and has now stolen a dangerous weapon. It's got your drum on you, Apis. Dreamfire. I will go to Dragonstone and drag Damon back to face justice your myself. Grace. My apologies, Your Grace, but I cannot allow it. It's too dangerous. Damon is without limit. Let me go to Dragonstone. Oh, those guys already don't like each other. Let's look after the hands, Sir Pistol. Well, they're sending him with the, the correct knight, the guy who's got true battlefield experience. Our boy, Sir Kristen. That's really cool. There he is. Uh -huh. And he's got the egg. Yep. You're to relinquish the dragon's egg, disband your army, banish your whore, and leave Dragonstone by order of his grace, King Viserys. Where is the king? I don't see him. His grace would never lower himself to entertain such a mummer's farce. It's a Crispin, wasn't it? 
So Kristen Cole, my prince. Ah, yes, yeah, so Kristen. Probably, I couldn't recall. He did that on purpose. Perhaps my prince recalls when I knocked him off his horse. Oh. <laughs> I'm simply keeping with the traditions of my house, the same as my brother did for his heir. Those traditions are for the true-born children of royalty, not for bastards fathered on a common whore. Ooh. Ugh. To choose violence here is to declare war against your king. Wonderful. Oh, here it comes. Sounds like a dragon. Oh, did she? Oh, she took the dragon out, didn't she? Yeah. All of you, see the fucking steel. What's this? Oh, there she oh. is. She's pissed about that egg. That's what it is. She gonna call out her uncle here? They cannot startle Cyrax, my lords. She's rather protective of me. Kepa nuha ina zed ristoro kesu uglesa luon zombas mi anu kon isa. Io se la vose e oro da or. Vedrosso dari o hi ikida. Indrari onori on da or. Tu bi maneri nike ti niklas. Apraziri ziri ema. Trebdan li da or. Ver. Onir nu horuho sutjailan. Sekilat. Razilari to be. Oh. If you wish to be restored as heir, you'll need to kill me. Man, what a great point for her to call him out like that. All this warring and all this nonsense. You just hand the wants. egg over? Oh. Jesus. <sighs> Threw that thing like he's cream. I don't know that much about eggs, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be throwing them like that. No, it's not a basketball. Oh, well, now he's not going to be happy because she showed up and saved the day. Yep. Pretty much called everybody out and. Announced that we were to be wet. On the morrow. Oh, she didn't know. And that I was with the child. Your child. Perhaps when we are wed, we can make that true. I ensured long ago that I would never be threatened by childbirth. Oh. You swore to protect me, Demo. So she's not able to have kids? No, threatened. She doesn't want to have the, the risk of... Yeah. She doesn't want to have ch kids. I came to you to be liberated. Liberated from what? Fear. Oh, he's thinking about her. Lord Corliss is your master of ships. She is the eldest daughter of the wealthiest house in the realm. She comes from unimpeachable Valyrian stock, and she has Targaryen blood. What's to mislike? She is 12. There we go. Yeah. The sea snake has made a calculated reach. Fair play for a man of his position. If you truly want my unencumbered opinion. I do. You should wed Lena Valarian, your grace. Save Lord Corliss and fix him at your side permanently as an ally. I disagree. Now, I would like to make it clear. The princess has returned from Dragonstone. And solved all the problems. With the egg. <laughs> the egg. She went and got it. Yep. Went to Dragonstone. And retrieved the egg without bloodshed. Feet, I'm not sure Sir Otto could have accomplished alone. Yes. Well, I sometimes forget how alike you both were. It's just me or is Pinky wrapped up further? Yeah, it seems like it. I think earlier as Pinky was wrapped just around the finger, now it's wrapped up higher. Yeah. The Red Keep has lost a warmth and I dare say it will never recover. It pleases me to hear you say this, to know that I'm not alone in my grief. See, he's opening up, having this mm -hmm. conversation with his daughter. I could never replace your mother. No more than I intend to replace you as heir. That's uh, not what they're thinking. Hmm. By marrying again, I may begin to ensure that we are better defended. Against whom? Whomever may dare to challenge us. I do not wish to make us estranged. Mother would have understood this, just as I do. Yeah, they made a point to show that she understands the history in that first episode when she was going through the book. Yeah. 12 is, uh, you're just not going to sell me on No, <laughs> no you're not. <laughs> I have decided... To take a new wife. Did you notice who was in the room? Otto's daughter. 
I intend to marry the Lady Alice and Hightower. Knew it. Knew it. Before spring's end. Oh, now her daughter is pissed. She's marrying her friend. Yeah. <laughs> this is an absurdity. My house is Valerian, the greatest power in the realm. And I am your king. Ooh. Give the stare down. And this is how it all no. <laughs> starts falling apart. You had things going good. Now, granted, dude trying to marry off his 12 year old daughter is creepy. I'm trying to be understanding of the times, but I just ugh, yeah. I can't. And now, daughter's mad at dad. Hey, instead of just marrying this girl, you're marrying my friend. Things just got messy. Yeah, real messy. When I ascended the Driftwood throne, I knew what I wanted. So I went out and seized it. Unlike every other lord of the realm, I can say that I built my house's high seat with the strength of mine own back. I've always thought of you and I as having been made from the same. Oh, oh it's, the yeah, it's, no, the it's the prince. It's the prince. It's Damon. No, he's talking to the princess. I bet. Oh, you're right. Good call. Ah, there's the there's the alignment of these two now. Did you call me to Driftmark to remind me of my low standing, Lord Corlys? Ouch. You've heard of the troubles in the Stepstones. Ooh, there they are. I've been petitioning the king to send my navy into the territory, but he's denied me. It was never my brother's strongest trait. What? Being king. <laughs> the crab feeder is backed by powerful entities within the free cities who wish to see Westeros weakened. Uh, I will not have Driftmark beggared while our king idles himself with feasts and balls and toys. I will speak of my brother as I wish. You will not. Still his brother. Our worth is not given. It must be made. Are we going to see this guy finally? Going to get the reveal? Oh. Guys, there's something supernatural going on with that guy. All right, guys, there it was. Episode two. And man, things, things just keep picking up. Um, the only thing that I had a question with, and I'll get this out of the way right off the rip, is, you know, I get that they're portraying the king as being vulnerable, but they told us early on he's got ten dragons at his disposal, now nine, with Damon having one of them. So I'm not, I'm not sure I, I get the the threat of the the crab king, and everybody else when you could just go in there with a, a horde of dragons and boom done problems over everybody sees our might and what we're capable of and suddenly we're not so vulnerable anymore so that was the only question i had uh regarding that but otherwise the character development with everybody here has been incredible uh you know i think with the series like this sometimes the names are a bit hard to get straight a little bit and to get into your head but uh they're doing a good job in that they they keep saying people's names over and over again i think to kind of to help us as viewers keep it straight so i really appreciate that and uh you know some some twists and turns that we may or may not have seen coming have definitely made things interesting going forward so i'm super excited uh for these to keep going and so glad we we're able to jump on them and watch along with you guys yeah uh, i think what we're seeing here is we're seeing that the king isn't necessarily the most like jump in and get stuff done mm -hmm. with an iron fist type guy yeah, like his brother <laughs> right like they talked about you know uh, you know go in you know sh show a force yeah. let them know who's the king you know his daughter even said just fly over with yeah. the dragon <laughs> done. Hey, we got to be diplomatic about <laughs> this uh his brother uh obviously not the same now um we have um and I, I'm the same way with names. Yeah. And, and look, I apologize. The leader of the Driftwood Throne. The leader of the Driftwood Throne. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's gonna be a little bit before I catch on to all these names, um, but you know, now they're gonna start testing the king. And you know, Renary, Renarian, Renary, um, the daughter. She's shown initiative, right? Yes. She, she jumped has. on the dragon's back, flew it in, said, yep. All right, hand over the egg. Yep. Called out her brother so, saying, Hey, you want to end this? Right. You so I, I think that we're seeing some strength in the daughter, um, or maybe just uh, a natural, hey, get shit done type attitude mm -hmm. that the king maybe doesn't necessarily have. Yep. Um, and so. I don't know. It's it's been an interesting development yeah. so far. It feels very much like Game of Thrones in a lot of different ways. That like you have, 
you have the king and there's these different people plotting yeah. and everybody's got their own agendas you know otto's trying to marry off his daughter which let's not lie he jumped in on that immediately the, immediately yeah. right when his wife died oh, i'll go to his throne his put chambers on the, put on the dress put on know. a dress hang out um you could definitely tell that the daughter was mad though um Renary and the princess was mad because it's like hey this is my friend yeah you know? you're gonna marry my friend um she was okay with him marrying a 12 year old I, I found that a bit because odd because it was actually. a match um it's it's it's, yeah, it's one but of again the... she she looks at from a political wise right she right. she's familiar with the history knows the book so look and i and i think that look the writers of the show had to know that people were going to be very uncomfortable with um with the age gap here mm -hmm. but we're supposed to just remember that in these, these old times, times yeah. it was about matches it was about this um age apparently wasn't as big of an issue now it's like okay dude you're like in your 50s yeah. which doesn't like it doesn't like that's a non-point like even if he was 25 yeah, or 20 still still 12. Be like, she's 12. yeah um but so it's it's even a weird thing to discuss but you have to discuss the show and the time frame yeah. that it was meant to be or at least we know a very old and the fact old show and the fact that you're relieved that he picked the 15 year old well, you know? 18 i mean or whatever yeah she is. right right so but definitely um a, a good episode they didn't come in as hot not even close as the first episode yep we didn't see the violence uh we didn't see the partying um so no. some things um but uh you know i think that they did that on purpose yeah you know, a let's lot go of give them a because i mean there's the whole like start with a slow building episode mm -hmm. and world building and then there's the like coming in hot, hot. now we got your attention now, now we're gonna start telling a story and i feel like that's what they did here. 100 percent. i liked it and we're yeah. uh, we're excited to get on to the next one yeah and i do like it it does feel that um as opposed to game of thrones that our our characters are a little bit tighter we don't have quite as many i'd say it seems like we maybe have four or five main characters here that we're dealing with so far which certainly makes it easier i know game of thrones had you know we had uh brothers and sisters and moms and dads kings queens that we had did a ton grow, of characters though. that yeah. did grow as the seasons went on i suppose you know? you're right so they yeah. added some very important characters as the seasons mm -hmm. went on that weren't necessarily part of the first or the yeah. second season so but I, think I that's one thing to to keep in mind again as you had mentioned right when this wrap-up started keeping track of the characters and these new people I think is going to be a little bit difficult but yeah. uh, you know, and we'll it's it. and it's only because the names are unique if their names were Hank and uh Susan and Bill and Bill and Jerry you know, be a little bit easier. And Debbie you know? yeah but uh guys I gotta say overall this is these two episodes have been fantastic. This one, I really liked how we're getting into the plotting and the scheming and the backstabbing and who's going to take whose side. And I think it's going to be outstanding going forward. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement. I think these have been a great first two episodes. Not only have they started the world building, um, and granted, they don't really need to build a world per se, um, but they're kind of set the stage for what things are like um, in at least their house and the yep. kingdom that they're in. And a lot of a lot of drama. Oh yeah. Lot, look, you love drama. This is a it's a soap opera with dragons and swords and it's getting juicy. It so uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into the next uh, the next uh, episode and uh, see what episode three brings us. All right, guys, for the Appleton Oak, I'm Mason Quinn. This has been Bad Medicine, and we're going to see you back for more House of the Dragon.